Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Boardwalk. We're gonna be doing a little bit of shopping today because I heard that there's some new resort specific merch at the resorts in the Epcot area. So we're gonna keep our eye out for it. We're gonna start here at Boardwalk get in there and see what we can find. Now we've been seeing new resort specific merch pop up all over the place. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what it is that we have here at some of my favorite resorts at Walt Disney World, specifically the Epcot area resorts. I know I talk about how much I love these resorts all the time. So of course we gotta check out the merch. But first, check this out. Looks like we have a new arrival, including some coasters set of four for $24.99. These are unique. Definitely a little bit different from what we normally see. Then we've got this Trivette, which I think is really cute. This one is $19.99. We've got a towel, which is really subtle, but I do love that. This one is $19.99. It doesn't look as small as your standard tea towel, and it definitely is going to be more absorbent than your standard tea towel. Here we have a throw. This one is just an all over Mickey print. You can kind of see it there. $69.99 for that. I feel like that's the going rate for throws nowadays and I think it's a bit too much. Honestly, they're not really selling either. We see them at the outlets all the time. Here's a round placemat. This one is $14.99. Then we have this vase, which is Again, very subtle. I like that. This is $29.99. Very reasonable price for that. And we've got a wood wick candle up here, which is teak wood and willow scented. And um, it does smell nice. This is $29.99. Of course, Valentine's Day is here. So we have our Valentine's Day Starbucks tumbler for $49.99. We also have some chocolates, but I'm not sure how much these cost. There is no price on them. And then check out these super cute, like, Valentine's ears. I suppose you could wear them anytime, but I think they're perfect for Valentine's Day. What do you guys think? There is no price on these, but ears are around $39.99. But this is what we've been keeping our eye out for, the new Boardwalk merch. And I heard that it's scented. We'll see. So here's the lounge fly. It's so cute. Look, it features, oh, I can smell it already. Definitely smells like vanilla. And it's glow in the dark. Let's see, this one is $89. And then they have matching ears and the print does have the building as well as Mickey and Minnie and ice cream and Surrey bikes. It's so cute. These ears, I think they also smell. Yes, they do smell. And it's a strong smell. Oh look, it says boardwalk on the back. That's super cute. We've got a t-shirt as well. I love, love, love that design. This one is $39.99. Really cute. And of course there is a corksicle as well with that logo on it. Corksicle is $44.99 and it is a 25 ounce. So it's a pretty big one. Now it looks like we might have a new pin or two as well. I can't remember if these are actually new, but nonetheless we're going to take a look at them. So there's this one right here as well as this one. This is so cute. I think this is a new one. So cute. Both of those, we have yellow. Yeah, they're both yellow. So that means that they are, ah, here we go, $14.99. Now this is new as well. I'm not a huge fan of this stuff, but I know that some of you out there might be interested. It's a very cute print, just not my style, but there was a different set like this before. These are slightly different colors. Very pricey, but if you're into it, you're into it, you know? Lots of different variety when it comes to this pattern, just like the last time we saw this collaboration as well. And that about does it for the boardwalk. We did wander through the rest of the store, see if there was anything else to take a look at. It's mostly the stuff that we've already seen before. So now we're making our way over to Beach Club. Now I know that Beach Club has some new merchandise to check out too. Specifically resort specific merchandise and it's super cute so I can't wait to show you. What I'm really wondering about though is the Yacht Club which we're gonna check out after we leave Beach Club so don't worry we'll stop there too but I haven't seen anything about new merch at Yacht Club. Maybe no one's checked. We'll find out together. All right let's jump into the marketplace and see what we can find. Now this isn't a big shop, so there's only so many places to look, but fortunately, we found it. So let's start with 
these ears, which are so cute. Now, of course, you know we have Beaches and Cream, which is an ice cream shop here, so this is perfect for the beach club to have that ice cream cone there. These also say that they're scented, but I can't smell anything. So maybe they're not as potent as the ears that we saw over at the boardwalk, but check out this lounge fly. Now I know I don't need another lounge fly, goodness knows. I've got a big enough collection, but look at how cute this is. Got Mickey and Minnie enjoying the kitchen sink right there on the front. We've got this cute little ice cream cone. Oh my goodness. Of course it has Beach Club embroidered on the back. This is $88 and I love it. Now I'm not seeing much else new over in that Beach Club section, but check out these. I've only seen these a few times before. They look like those viral cloud slides, don't they? They have Mickey on them, of course. They look like on the underside. They're not, they're not soft. I'm sure that they are when you're walking on them, but they're not super soft, I should say. It's just probably good. $29.99 for these. I think you can get away with wearing them walking around the resort. Maybe jumping into the park with those. Not sure that they'd be a good choice for an all-day park day, but anyway, there they are. All right, now we're at the Yacht Club making our way to the gift shop. I'm honestly not sure if they'll have anything, but I hope they do. It would be kind of disappointing if the other resorts have new merch and this one doesn't. So we'll see. Of course, this gift shop, like the beach club, isn't very big. So there's only so much to see. We haven't checked this place for merch in a while. So some other things that we might see that aren't necessarily new. This is so cool. $21.99 for this mug. Then, of course, there is a Corksicle, significantly smaller. This one is a 16 ounce, and it's $44.99. Oh, check out this trinket tray. That's super cute. This one is $19.99, and I think this is a new magnet. This one is $12.99. All really cute stuff. Now I'm wandering around, I'm really not seeing much else, except for this. This is really cute, it's a container that has a Mickey lid. I don't want to pick it up because it is glass. I'm not sure what the price is on this. Hold on, let me check. $34.99. I really like this whole set. It's really nice. What do you guys think? All right, so no new ears or lounge fly for the Yacht Club, which is a little bit disappointing because I feel like since Beach Club and Boardwalk got a set of ears and lounge fly, Yacht Club deserves one too, you know? But then again, this might not necessarily be the ear wearing bag carrying crowd, but I did like that mug. That was really cool. And that little trinket tray. I love that stuff. Of course, let me know your thoughts. I feel like this was such a quick trip. We just ran in and ran out. Only so much to see. Well, you know, there's one other thing to see and talk about, but of course, we're gonna make our way back to the boardwalk in order to do that. We're headed that way anyway, so let's go. See, there are some changes coming to the boardwalk. But I mean, what else is new? And one of those changes actually includes one of the restaurants on the boardwalk closing. Now, the restaurant in question is the Big River Bar and Grill, which closed on the 21st of January, 2024. This restaurant is, of course, one of the many located at Disney's Boardwalk Resort, which is over that way. And in its place, Disney said something about a temporary alternative to Big River, that being food trucks. Now, when we first heard about the food trucks, we weren't sure what that meant, but as it turns out, I'm here today, saw the food truck pull up. So let's go over there, check it out. Now, a food truck is not a real solution to the problem of a table service restaurant closing here at the boardwalk. Let's just be perfectly honest with each other about that. It's not gonna have the same capacity. You're not gonna be able to sit down inside. I don't even know if there's any additional seating available, but like I said, we'll check it out together. That said, it is still an available option. So I think that's what they were going for. We're actually gonna be coming up on the food truck here in a second, but you can see there's really no additional seating except for two tables here that they set up right in front of this food truck. So let's see, what are we looking at? It's the Apps food truck. Huh, let's go check out that menu. 
All right, it looks like we've got a lot to choose from over here. Everything is around 14 to 15 dollars. Looks delicious. The question is, do we get something? I say why not? All right, I had to. I got the empanadas and I got Postobon. The woman at the truck said that this was an apple flavored soda and I'm into it. So we're gonna try that. I love trying new things. Also, I got the empanadas, which I'm really looking forward to. They had so many delicious looking options, but I wanted to try something that I know I'll be able to take back with me as well. I can munch on the way back to the car. So let's take a look, see what we got here. All right. Wow, those look amazing. I love cornmeal. So these are cornmeal empanadas from what I saw. I didn't get the spicy sauce. Playing it a little bit safe today. Russ is more into the spice than I am, so, you know. But all right, let's get you situated and let's try these empanadas. See what we got. Not entirely sure what this sauce is. Smells good. Here we go. These are so hot, I'm gonna burn my mouth. Mm. Oh my goodness. This is so good. Like, so, so, so good. Now, I'm not exactly sure what the filling is here. It's either pork or beef. I don't know what else is in here, but it's so good. Now, I was talking to the woman behind the counter, and she was saying that currently they're here during the day, and they'll be here most days. And then there are going to be two additional trucks. One is a crepe truck, and one she's not sure what it is yet. She also mentioned that they're at Fort Wilderness in the evenings, and they're elsewhere as well. I'll show you the card here in a second. The crisp on this, so good. So here's the card that she gave me, and some information on where you can follow them to keep up with where they're gonna be. I cannot wait to try something else from this food truck. And yes, I'm going to have to come back and I'm going to have to take Russ because I wanna try more and my belly's not big enough for that. <laughs> Ooh, that's so good. That's so refreshing. All right, I've got everything packed up in a bag right here. And as I was making my way out, they gave me one of these, which is a cream soda. She says, I'm gonna love it. Can't wait to try it, but have to finish this one first. So take that one for the road. But before we move on, cause I know I was just taken aback by how delicious the food was. There's not a ton of seating over there, although there are some tables so you can get yourself situated. Just beyond the truck though, there are tables where you can sit down and eat as well. That's where I sat, it worked out great for me. One of the benches would have been just fine too, especially with the empanadas, cause they're easy to eat on the go. Now the question still remains whether or not there'll be more than one food truck out there at one time. That I'm not sure about, and I don't know if they're going to be there in the evenings either. Now my understanding is that this food truck will not be there in the evenings, but others might. So we'll have to keep checking back, see what happens. I'm not complaining. I like food trucks. Definitely don't eat at them as often as I ought to. So this seems as good an excuse as any. But with that, it's time to make our way back to Hollywood Studios and ultimately the Hollywood Studios parking lot. Which for those of you who are wondering is usually where I park when I'm wandering around the Epcot area resorts. Unless of course I start my day at Epcot and I make my way through the park, wander around from there. But it's a good hub. You can park here, especially if you get here early, get good parking, easy access to the path, boats, Skyliner, buses if you wanna go that route. But yeah, that about concludes our day here. I had a great time and the food truck was such a surprise. I wasn't expecting there to be a food truck here today. I mean, I knew they were going to be eventually, but here they were, and man, was the food good. <laughs> Honestly, I know empanadas might just be a simple thing, but I feel like simple things can usually be a gauge of how good other things are. These were amazing, and everything else looked so good. I know, I keep saying that, but it's true. But here's the deal. I've got a little ways to go before I get back to the Jeep. We're gonna make our way over there. Then we're gonna try this cream soda because I, I need to know just how good it is. If I like this as much as I do, I have a feeling this cream soda is gonna knock my socks off. I know, really high hopes, but anyway, I'll see you at the Jeep. All right, we made it back to the Jeep, and let me just say, what a walk. I don't know, we've had so many really cold days recently that it almost tricked my brain into forgetting just how hot the parking lots can be, but not today, not today. Fortunately, we have 
this ice cold Colombiana that I cannot wait to try. It says cola flavored soda, natural and artificial flavors. Now let me just say something real quick. I love to get a taste of different cultures and different places through simple things like soda. And I know that that might sound silly. There are so many ways to get a sense of a different culture's cuisine and everything like that, but stuff like this tends to be easy and cheap. And so you can try more of it. So that's why I love it. Before we crack into this though, yeah, I'm breaking out the empanadas again. I have half an empanada that I wasn't able to eat. I'm gonna eat it now. Okay, so got this ready to go. Gonna take a bite of that, wash it down with this. Let's see what we're looking at. I'm looking forward to this. She said that this is like a cream soda. Oh, it smells good. Ooh, that is delicious. That is so good. Okay, bite the empanada. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. For the record, hold on, gotta make sure everyone sees this. I do have two in here and sauce to bring home to Russ so he won't be left out. And I will say, I think it was like $14, $15. It's a lot for that price, in my opinion. I mean, it was reasonable enough that I still have my peanut butter sandwich in my backpack. Well, with that, I don't know if there's anything else to say. Today was great, beautiful weather delicious food. A little disappointed with the fact that Yacht Club does not have its own merch line, or more specifically, it doesn't have ears and a matching lounge fly. Who knows? Maybe it's on its way. It just hasn't arrived yet. Of course, we'll keep an eye out for that in the future and show you if we ever find it. But for now, I think I need to make my way home. So that's what I'm going to do. If you enjoyed hanging out with me today, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're always doing something fun and we love taking you with us. Of course, share your thoughts in the comments down below. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Would you try this food truck? What on the menu looked good to you? Maybe it'll end up being what we order next time we stop by. But with that, I'm off. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.